Hello, everyone. Tim Nissen, Director of Field Technical Training, along with Adam Barton, our corporate trainer. Hello. And we are here for our final series uh, in the Technician Tuesday, at least for right now. We're, we're, uh, we're drumming up some additional topics. And uh, today we are going to go through the DMP University, the Learning Management System, the LMS, okay? And uh, how to get there, uh, how, to, how to get registered for things, how to become a, a user if you need to do that. Uh, so we'll kind of take you through a, a, a little bit of a tour. There may also be, you may already be in the LMS, the Learning Management System. You may already be uh, taking courses, and of which there are a ton. And uh, we'll take a look and see how many users we've got currently, you know. And uh, then we're going to kind of impersonate some. We've got, a, we've got a training user that we'll go through and do. Uh, but what I want to go into first off is just kind of DMP.com, all right? So... Let's go to, to dmp.com. Here's our, here's our opening page. And if I take a look at this on the left-hand side, these, these particular tabs, there is the, the training tab, of course. And when I open that, uh, it gives me some menu. And if I want to go to the online learning information, okay? And I get that here. And it gives me a little tutorial. And if I want to access the training website, that's one way to go, right? So if I, if I click on that, training.dmp.com, all right? So that, that gets me there. If, I, um, if I'm in dealer admin, all right? Let's, let's just show that since we're there. dmpdealeradmin.com. So I have, if I have a login for that, Dealer resources, all right? So if I'm in dealer admin, DMP University, click on that, and I'm here as well. So a few different ways that I can actually get to this particular spot, all right? So the LMS, uh, we've had a, kind of a DMP learning center for a, for a while, a uh, number of years. This particular version has uh, been around since about 2017 in the summer months, okay? And so when I log into this, it's going to, I'm in kind of as a super administrator, but we're going to um, take a look at a user. We've created a user in the system, how you can actually go in and manage it. And we're going to talk about a straight user as, you know, uh, a user of the system or as an admin to the LMS. So each dealer, when, uh, when they come on, is assigned a, an admin person in the, uh, uh, in the LMS, okay? And so... Adam, you're you're probably an admin person because you can you can do assignments. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll have to look you up. See, check your check your scores <laughs> out here. All right. So everybody's assigned a. Uh, uh, if you've if you've sent something into our our training department. Oh, and that's uh, that's the other thing here. I scroll this down. Contact DMP training at training at dmp.com or to request access. So if you see this webinar. And you go, wow, that's cool. Uh, Training.dmp.com, and you put in your email address and you know password or something. It doesn't come back. Request access. We'll bring that, bring that up, and I have to fill this out. So first name, last name, email address, company, who's your supervisor, supervisor's email, or am I a subcontractor? All right. So I fill that out and then request access. That comes to the training department, and then you'll get back an email address. And, uh, and a login credential, right? So that is there. Again, right from the front page, DMP University, right towards the bottom of the login, request access, or if you're having any issues, contact training at dmp.com. All right, so then we'll log in. And what I want to do first off is just kind of get a fresh picture of the number of users. And uh, that'll be kind of interesting to see because, let me bring this down here. Oop. It'll tell us how many there are in the system. 21,956, so just wow. short of 22,000 users in this uh, learning management system. 
And uh, we've had this, like I said, going since 2017. We bring everybody in. But prior to that, we used to limit. We'd say, well, you know, we have so many seat licenses, we have to, we have to cut folks off. That's not the case anymore. We bring anybody in uh, that we want to. So now that I'm, I'm in the system, uh, I'm going to come up here to, to training. And this, I've now, I'm going to kind of impersonate this person here. But we're going to take a look at courses, history, things of that sort. So when I do this, uh, most folks aren't going to be able to do that. That's, that's more from a behind the scenes. But when you would log in to the LMS, you're going to see courses, your history, the links page, which we're going to talk about. And then since this person was an admin, so every dealer has an admin in the LMS, what can they do? They can run reports and they can add users to the system. And they can even assign some stuff, which is kind of nice. So in the courses, as you, uh, as you look through this, 80% uh, of training is wasted, which, which it is if you don't use it. Right? You've got you to keep it fresh. Mm -hmm. uh, the 1100 series wireless course, 1106, 1122, there are a bunch of courses to take, all right? And uh, most of these aren't very long. They're probably 45 minutes or less, you know. Uh, some of these are not going to apply to everyone. Uh, we've got Entree, which is a special certification class, so that doesn't apply to everyone here. But, you know, roughly 62 courses that can be taken. Uh, you know, we've been doing wireless, uh, dual com, uh, XR access control, um, you know, kind of keypad things. Those are refresher courses that you can find and take here and print out certificates, right? So I can, uh, I can get all of that. So that's in the course catalog. I can launch that at any point in time once I'm, once I'm in. Then when you complete the course, you're going to have course history, and uh, you can go back, and this is kind of a, a clearinghouse for everything that's been completed. But the cool thing is it, it stays forever. So we've got some of these that were back from 2017, about the time we were testing this out, uh, th that there's a certificate. And so I can print that out or save it. Uh, it. It might have hours attached to it. So here is eight course hours for, for this one on, on this particular certificate. And you'd submit that for CEU credits and things like that. So, uh, so that's a nice way to, to keep and, uh, and get certificates. No need for us to mail anything out. We used to email all that stuff. We don't, uh, we don't have to do that any longer. So that's in the history function. Then in the links page, so if I click on that, and again, I'm, I'm in as a user. Uh, we just talked about CEUs. So continuing edu education credits, uh, facts and tools are here, uh, the different uh, certificate or renewal instructions uh, through the ESA, uh, courses for technicians. So remember, I'm logged in. So Adam, like you logged in as an admin person. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the recommended courses that technicians should take? So, you know, get to knowing DMP, you know, getting started, interactive product courses, uh, other product info. Entree uh, could come in, but like I said, not everything is for everybody. So you have to kind of uh, take some prep courses and things for that. But that's a good way to get, you know, to get, to get started. Then... Uh, DMP University Survey, of course, if you want to do that. And then uh, training team. So there's 10 trainers out in the field. And uh, that's, a, that's a great place. Let's see how, how that is. Look at that. That's nice and current. <laughs> so you can, uh, can find out who your regional trainer is. So that's a nice link to have. Uh, Securecom Wireless, any software help files. The guides page, we've talked about that uh, in our sessions. So that brings up uh, the different DMP uh, guides for the, the products, along with the general troubleshooting guide. So that is, is there as well. So that's the links page. Uh, and then, of course, technical training videos as a supplement. So we want to make sure that everything stays fresh. You know, we started, you know, five weeks ago or better with the 1100. Come back in and do that or take a look at the videos and, and go through uh, the survey LED, which is, which is important. All right? So that is the links. Then when we go to reports, so again, I'm logged in as, as the, uh, as the uh, admin for the dealer. What can I run as far as reports? Well, you know, what online courses have been taking, what, what webinars uh, have been done, has there been any instructor-led training for this particular dealer, um, that type of thing. 
So that that's kind of that's kind of nice, right? So then let's go to users. And this would give us our list of users for our company, right? So if I wanted to, well, let's see here. Let's do Rick Adams. So there, all kinds of stuff happens here. I can take a look at Rick's information. Uh, are they active, right? And I could do a password reset from here so I can manage everything, uh, make sure that that's correct. But the other thing that's here is I can do course assignments. So if I want to select a course name, again, there's our, my courses that I've, that I've got assigned. So if I wanted to get that to Rick, he could go in and take a class from the course list. It works out kind of cool. Let's go back to users. You think you're in here? Are you in here? Are you in? Are, I, I should be. <laughs> well, let me. Let, no, I don't see a Brad Barton. Probably not here. Probably not in this dealer. You're oh probably, yeah, you're, you're right. You're probably in the DMP mm -hmm. in the DMP dealer realm. Um, so for this particular dealer, Adam's not in. But if I if I escaped that. And then I just went down here to <laughs> users. All right. Let's check. We got we to see if Adam's in here. <laughs> Been here all these weeks. We got to make sure that you're. Getting, that, getting, that, I, that I know what I'm talking getting, about, right? Getting credit for everything you're doing. <laughs> yes. Oh, look at that. So there, there's Adam. Mm -hmm. But now we can take a, do a couple of things here. We can take a look at assignments. So. I don't want. I didn't want to send anybody to anything, but Adam's got some assignments here, mm -hmm. uh, and so you know, when when were they last completed? And that shows up in the history, which is kind of cool. Or if I wanted to assign him another course, you know, we were taking that. We talked 1100 series wireless a few weeks ago, and I could say, well, you've got uh, you got a week uh, or the end of the week to get this done, 22nd, and I hit submit. Adam would now get an email, and that adds to your to your uh, your courses that you can take, mm -hmm. and there it is. Uh, there's our there it is five twenty two twenty, right? Who's the assigner? And do we want to remove one? We could we could do that if we wanted to, right? So those are that's kind of neat neat stuff. <laughs> so let's get back. Let's go back to our training user. Take a look at a report here. And while you're looking that up, we're we're doing this on a on a computer, right? We have a laptop here, but the LMS is also accessible from tablets and mobile devices as well. Phone, uh, iPad, tab, you know, uh, Android tablet, MacBook. Yeah, there's no no special things that you have to worry about there. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's get back to training. And here's the the other thing that I've been doing. If I am that admin person for that dealer. And I've got my user list, right? And I, I clicked on that. I can then impersonate them. So Adam, if you told me, well, Tim, I didn't see that I have those courses to take. Uh, I can impersonate the user, and then I become you, right? Mm -hmm. right? And then I would see what's there, and oh well, here's here's what Adam is seeing, and I can take a look at that, and I can also get his certificates, right? All from here, mm -hmm. which is kind of a cool thing. Uh, so let's go back to that report section. And we just, I want to see who's taking online courses. That's kind of a big thing right now. We've been running these webinars for a while. So then we would say, well, uh, what do we want to do? Do we want to go back like a month? So for the last month, sure, uh, that's kind of a good sequence. And I scroll down to the bottom. 27 online courses have been taken from this dealer in the last month. So if I'm the dealer admin, I could say, well, uh, you know, Lucas looks like they, he took a lot. Uh, you know, Jeff, Jeff took a few, so we can actually do this and then get the users and run a report off of that. Right. Mm -hmm. Uh, which is kind of cool. So that is the report. And then users, of course, who's, who are the users in our system and who do we want to, do we want to invite anybody? And we can, we can invite a new user if we wanted to do that. So we can say, okay, uh, you hit invite and you choose your primary team, whoever that would be, you know, I'll say it's going to be training. 
uh, or you know whatever the, the company it is, right? ABC Security, and you know Bill Smith, and then their email, right? So same kind of thing. When when you 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 want to get access to it, we want the name, email address. That's really what sets you in. That's your credential. So your your email address, login, password, that gets you there. All right. So courses, history, right? Courses are what you can take. History is what you've done. Links is informational. And then the admin, if you're an admin person, you can run reports, add users. So really, uh, really pretty, pretty straightforward. The cool thing about this is on these courses, though, out of those, what do we have, 60, 60 some? Um, we update these all the time. So, you know, like the 738T, a video and quiz. Um, Jack Connard's been, been doing some of his, uh, his sales webinars, so they're listed here. Um, so you'll notice here, this, this one's an instructor-led, um, so that would be uh, still done as online, but we've been doing some of these where we do them in person. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's registered here as well. Entree, like I said, probably doesn't apply to everybody, but it is, but it is there. Uh, if I want to show more columns, I can do that over here on the right. Drop us all the way down. Here's our Tech Training Tuesdays. So we've, we've incorporated them in as a, as a course. So if you wanted to take that refresher, you sure could come in and do that and then uh, pass the quiz, five questions. Get yourself a certificate. Um, John Adams did his technology series, so they're all listed in here. So a lot of different ways to get uh, to get some DMP technical information, and you know, 62 courses, hour or less in time, not not too hard to uh, to come by. Mm -hmm. And of course, don't forget the history tab is where you find. Uh, the certificates that uh, that are for your folks or what who what you've taken and then all right just click on that PDF certificate comes up and it's done and so I can print that off but it's saved here forever so I don't have to to worry about that or I can retake the course it's the other thing you're not limited I can take that course as many times as I'd like um, some are we, we kind of limit how many attempts you can do, but there's nothing to increase that if we don't want to, or if we if we, if we want to. Then you can even export this out to a uh, to a spreadsheet if I want to do that. So who's completed it? If I want to turn that into someone, I can uh, certainly export that information off as well. Adam, anything else that you can think of? DMP University. Just remember training.dmp.com. Mm -hmm. How to get there? Mm -hmm. How to log in? How to request access? Man, this is another another one of those short and sweet <laughs> sessions, you know. Yeah. It, well, just not direct, directly related to the LMS, but but all the courses that we have on DMP University have been developed in house by our own training development team, and they they put a lot of work into those, making sure that we keep them up to date as we improve our products, and just making sure there's a lot of really good interactivity. So if you're not familiar with these and you're worried it's going to be a you know, I'm going to watch a video or, or basically watch a PowerPoint online. Uh, that's not the case. These are really well-made interactive courses that are going to help you learn more about our products. And they're constantly updated. You know, so if I go back to this and uh, let's just see, is there one here? Video and quiz. Let's take a look at this second page. Uh, well, the technology series, you know, and it's alphabetized, so you can kind of take a look at, uh, you know, if you're talking XTs, XRs, uh, so 100s, 500s, uh, you'll notice this one, Access Control Basics, and it's got a lock on it because you have to take that, you got to take a prereq first. So once you take the, uh, the basics course, then that'll open up the second piece. But between those, I mean, that's, that's two hours of time uh, to get the, the programming and the access control, and you could actually go out and install a system. Mm -hmm. So if you actually had a kit in front of you, you could run that through. Same thing with the XTL, uh, the XT, 
it's the same same thing. If you've got a panel in front of you, it it'll walk you through it. It's not just watching a video. It is done uh, you know, professionally here in the, either in the studio. Adam, you've made some some ones that have been right here. Mm -hmm. So uh, so good stuff. Well, I I think that's it. So everybody knows how to log in, how to get to the uh, to training.dmp.com, how to request access. How to find your certificates, that's a big thing. Everybody wants to know how to get that, so that is that is here. Um, Are there any subscription fees for the LMS? Zero. You're, if you're at a dealer, you, you email address, credentials. Uh, even if you're a subcontractor, mm -hmm. we've got that. You know, when we log in, you know, we'll, we'll log into a subcontractor. So if you're doing subcontracting to ABC Security, uh, we just log in with that, and uh, we're good to go. This is a separate login than it is from dmp.com or the dealer admin. Mm -hmm. So it is a, uh, at least right now, it's a separate login. So remember that, training.dmp.com and email address and password that is just for DMP University or the LMS, Learning Management System. So if anybody says, did you take any courses on the LMS? That's DMP University. That's the online management system. So be able to log in, take some courses, Save your certificates or print them out. They look good on the wall. And they have the hours associated for the course's length. Um, so these are all about an hour if we're doing, doing them on a computer like this, the, the courses. If it's a class in, in your history um, and you're looking at, at certificates that way, so courses are going to be one piece. That's, that's how you take it. Your history is what you've done. So then when you want to come and print those certificates out, you know, so here's a class. So that was that was an in-person course would be took it took it online, mm -hmm. right? Well, everybody, we appreciate you uh, tuning in with us today for another Technician Tuesday. This is the last in the series for right now, but as we uh, we get some other topics to bring in, uh, we'll be sure to bring that for you. But uh, be safe out there and have a great uh, a great day. Thanks, everybody. Thanks.